our dear viewers and welcome to our show Diet Myths. So I know many of us are trying to diet or lose weight and so many people I see choose to have salads for their meals. It's a great way to cut calories, to get in your veggies and your greens and also to make sure you're not overindulging in carbs. But there are many very common mistakes we can make when making our salads or when choosing our salads. So there are many people that can overdo it with either cheeses or croutons or bread and sometimes even dressing. So today we're going to address some of these things that you can do to your salad that could actually um, you know, outdo the advantage of having these greens. And a lot of times we don't realize it, but the salads we could be having could have more calories or more fat than a burger and fries. So it's very important to be very careful when making your own salad or when choosing one. So the first thing we're gonna discuss is of course your greens. Now I know a lot of people turn to romaine lettuce as their greens of choice. And romaine lettuce is an excellent green. But with romaine lettuce, you don't really get many vitamins and many minerals. You're getting a bulk of water. So I do advise you to switch it up to make sure you're always varying the nutrients you're getting. So to make sure you're getting more potassium, more vitamin A, more vitamin C. Choose things like kale or maybe spinach or maybe parsley. So the more you can vary your greens and mix them up, the more you make sure you're getting a variety of nutrition and not just the romaine. And definitely don't get me wrong, like I said, romaine is loaded with water. So it's a great food to have as a snack because it's very filling. It has a lot of water bulk and fiber bulk in it. But varying your greens will give you a variety of nutrition, a lot of fiber, and will keep you full. Now please stay tuned because we're gonna cover other things you can do on your salad or to your salad to actually enhance it and reduce the calories if you're trying to lose the weight. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So I know many of us, you know, when looking at salads, especially ordering salads off of a menu, we'll probably be thinking, let's get the lowest calorie salad. Now, it's a great idea to get a low calorie side if it's a salad, if it's a side item. But we don't want you to really focus on getting a low calorie salad if it is going to be your main meal salad. Reason being is if the salad is low calorie, then it probably is very low in things like protein and fats and other nutrients or macronutrients that you probably need. And the problem with that is within an hour or two, you'll probably be hungry again. And once you're hungry again, you might think, let me give up the salad habit because it's not satisfying enough, or let me snack on unhealthy foods. And by the end of the day, you probably added up a lot of calories that you were trying to save. So look for a good calorie salad, somewhere around 400 to 500 calories, and a salad that's actually varied with nutrients. So it's not just veggies, and we don't want the bulk of those calories to come from the dressing. So definitely avoid those creamy dressings that will add the bulk of the calories, like a Caesar salad, for example, where you're not getting many veggies, it's only romaine lettuce, and then the bulk of the calories comes from the dressing. Another very popular mistake that many of us do is that we avoid protein in our salads. Now the most important thing about protein is that it keeps us full. It's really very healthy and especially when you focus on things like lean protein. So you could add grilled chicken to your salad, you could add um, some cheeses to your salad but make sure they're low fat. You can even add things like beans. So beans are a great addition whether they're kidney beans or lentils or many other types of beans that you can add to your salad that will give you protein so they'll make sure you're full and they're leaner sources of protein meaning they won't give you many of the extra calories stay tuned we have a couple more tips coming up and we'll be right back Welcome back, our dear viewers. 
Now, I'm sure throughout many episodes, you've heard us say fats are actually healthy if you choose the right ones. And that is correct but it's very easy to go crazy with fats in a salad. Now, whenever you're making a salad, always try to pinpoint where you want your fats to come from. So if you're using olive oil as the base of your dressing, then try to avoid fats within the salad. So avoid things like cheeses, avoid things like perhaps avocado or added nuts. Because once you overdo it with fats, you actually tend to have a salad that's loaded with calories and could actually have as many calories as a burger or a sandwich, which defeats the purpose of having a salad. So my advice is if you want cheese on your salad, then choose a dressing that's more of a vinaigrette. Just a vinegar, you know, with some salt and pepper and other spices. If you do choose to have olive oil as the base of your dressing, then definitely do avoid the fats or at least limit them. So try to limit two choices of fats within your salad. Um, definitely focus on portion size because that's another important aspect. And this way you'll make sure you don't overdo it. Another very common mistake that we have is a lot of people think, okay, if I have a salad for lunch or for dinner, then I can overcompensate within the rest of the meals. And that's not really what we want you to do. We want to develop a healthy lifestyle. So if you have a salad for a meal, that really doesn't mean that you can go crazy with junk food or food that you shouldn't be having in other meals. At the end of the day, it's the total calories that you know matter and we don't want to put a bulk of our calories in one meal and miss out on the health benefits of the salad we had. So I really hope you enjoyed our tips today and I really hope that you guys will go ahead and make these healthy salads for yourself. Take care and we'll see you all next time.